Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to check CPU usage in percentage by SQL Server. In this demo, we'll be learning how to check CPU utilization using Task Manager, and that will tell us in percentage. Number two, we'll be looking at a system dynamic view that'll tell us a little bit information about CPU utilization. Number three, CPU utilization by process. So uh, first up here, uh, using Task Manager, you have to uh, remote into SQL Server. Uh, into the server where SQL Server instance is. So let's say that this is the server that I'm in right now and I have a SQL Server's, uh, Server instance running on this server. So what I will do, I right click on the taskbar and go to the task manager. The first thing you will see that if you don't see the processes, you need to add that column processes and you will see the SQL Server process uh, up here saying SQL Server and right here is the instance. If you have multiple instances on, of SQL Server uh, on a particular server, they will show up right here under SQL Server um, Windows NT and um, uh, you can look at CPU utilization by just looking at the task manager. As you can see right here is CPU utilization. This is the total operating system utilization of the CPU in percentage, which is 20% right here. But we are more interested basically in um, uh, finding out that um, how much is SQL Server using. So let me do it one more time. So we're going to go ahead and remote into a server where SQL Server instance is installed and go in Task Manager. And you will see right here all the application. You can sort by application and you can see that each application is using how much. If you go all the way, you will see the SQL Server right here. Uh, this is SQL Server agent and if you wanted to collectively look at SQL Server and Agent, then you can add these two up, but this is your SQL Server instance right here, and this is the column that uh, CPU utilization is. Right currently, up here on this system is 21-22% CPU, but the SQL Server isn't using much of CPU because we're not using SQL Server a whole lot. But if SQL Server will be using, let's go ahead and uh, run uh, just a report on SQL Server and see that uh, if it would bring our CPU up for SQL Server. As you can see that as soon as we ran the report, it went to 0.9% or 1% of CPU utilization. So this is how you check CPU utilization in percentage uh, used by a SQL Server. If you have multiple SQL Server instances, as, as I said, you, you, it'll appear right here. Uh, all the instances right here in SQL Server, like in my case, I have just only one SQL Server instance, which is SQL Test. And this is how you can basically use CPU utilization, memory in percentage, and disk I.O. and network as well. So we're going to go ahead and close this, and we're going to go ahead and look at uh, CPU utilization using system dynamic view. And I'll be just showing you that uh, the, these are really important if you um, the, many of us usually don't look at the, the dynamic views but I would encourage you to start using dynamic views they have a really nice information they have really great information basically sometimes but by just going in that view and exploring that view you will get the information that you're looking for so here uh, these are the system views we're gonna go ahead and go in dynamic views right here it says DM so uh, if you go in OS views right here this will give us a lot more detail as you can see that if you explore really these these are just phenomenal these are uh, these contains really a great information so the, what we're interested in right now is uh, DMOS system info so we're gonna go ahead and select everything from this dynamic view so let's see what we get. Right here we get CPU ticks and uh, millisecond CPU ticks right here. So if you uh, wanted to get the information in percentage, you have to do some aggregation in order to get in percentage. Uh, basically, I just wanted to, in, in this video, I just wanted to show you that if you explore uh, in uh, uh, this dynamic view, you will get information lot more information about CPU than other any other up here. If you wanted to look at the memory, you can look at the memory up here. You can also go ahead and join and create your own query 
uh, call it a health query, system health query, and basically join these uh, um, dynamic views and uh, go ahead and look at the utilization, the physical resource utilization on any server or any application residing on that particular server. So uh, we're going to go ahead and um, look at by the process. It's really easy. You can look at in the system dynamic view as well. So we're going to go ahead and right click on the instance, go to the reports and go to the standard reports. As you can see right here, we have a server dashboard. Server dashboard has a lot great information. If you get a chance, take a look on that. And now we're looking for the CPU. As you can see the top queries by total CPU time. Uh, up here is top queries by average CPU time. And up here is top queries by uh, total IO. So we're going to go ahead and first we're going to look at it comes under the performance. So top queries by average CPU. So it's going to give us the top queries. And if you scroll down right here, these are the queries that who ran and this is the CPU time in milliseconds right here. So you can find from here that if this query ran this, this is the query that who ate my CPU and we ran into performance issue. So let's go back and look at another report. So we're going to go ahead and top queries by total CPU time right here. And it gives about the same view as you can see right here it's a total CPU time instead of average CPU time you can look at the average as well as as I showed so this is how you basically um, check by the processes uh, easy way very easy way to go in standard uh, reports and you can also look at the scheduler uh, health right here and you can go and it will tell you the scheduler ID up here and you can go in much more detail if you expand one of these you can expand the work threads underneath it and it will tell you what each thread how much CPU it consumed up here all the workers so basically the whole idea in this uh, video is to sh to uh, make you realize that you can explore a lot more information but um, in the beginning that uh, our mo uh, main purpose of this video is to show you to how to find CPU util utilization by SQL Server in percentage if you wanted to look at that. You can also go in SQL uh, in, in the server and set up CPU counters and uh, you can uh, basically get the report from there. If you go in system views, I'll show you real quick. Dynamic OS counter, so let's go ahead and pull this guy up. So once we run it, run it right here, the counter names, all the counter names, and you can go ahead and say where co counter name and you can basically get it just the CPU. So we can get the counters just related to CPU as you can see right here. So these are the uh, uh, great tips and tricks as well to look at uh, the CPU utilization and basically physical resources of the server where SQL Server instance is running and consumption of those physical resources uh, related to SQL Server, uh, you can explore more. So we went ahead and looked at utilization using task manager percent and we went ahead and look at a system dynamic view which is uh, the OS uh, system dynamic view and uh, also CPU utilization by process by looking at the different reports on SQL Server instance and I hope this video helps.